it is about time for me.
couple of dollars in rent or light bills and stuff like that because you feel like the government is giving it out and you should just take it and soak it in. I don't think they really understand that the reason why you have those assistance is because people like us that goes to work. If nobody went to work, you wouldn't have no assistance. You'd be homeless with you and your children. But I don't. I, I try to say that people don't understand that mindset. And then when you're on a lot of these assistance, you can't ever accumulate or have anything in your name. Now you can put it in John's name or put it in your kid's name or whatever you have to do. But to me, that's just stupid. You know what I mean? They limit you to what you can do, what you can have, how much money you can make, and it's just it's a trap. It's like a rat trap to me. You know what I mean? It's amazing. You know, every all these mice going for one piece of cheese, knowing that most of them will starve to death because they just going after one piece of damn cheese. Instead of getting out the damn race and going to find their own food somewhere else, they worrying about what people can give them because they just too lazy to go work. Now, if you're disabled, disabled, I'm not talking about you. You know, if you have an issue, I'm not talking about you. And if you're just at a low point in life, I'm not saying anything about you because there are times in life where we all need help and assistance in something. But for people that I have seen that have been on the system for years and years and years, that I've grown up with that's been in the system, their mom has been on the system and then they're in the system and they done had kids, you know, to make sure they stay on housing and stuff like that, I think it's just, it's a trap. You know, and those are the main ones that are out here just thinking they fine and got everything done, their hair and nails and makeup and everything else, clothes, shoes, and their kids just as dumb as a box of rocks because they haven't grew up enough in their mind to say there's more to life than this. You know, and I and I speak only to, I speak to black women. I want to talk to black women because I'm a black woman and I get it and I understand and I live you know what I mean? I see how the world is. And I don't live on a... My mindset isn't, well, the white man or the world or the government is doing this. And they're trying to hold us down. And they don't want us to have anything. So they do this. And they make sure they get their children are better than us. I make sure that I make sure that I make sure that I do what I have to do to make sure that I am able to take care of myself, my son, and that I educate my son to make sure that he understands that this is just the type of world that we live in. If you want anything, you will work hard as hell to get what the fuck you need. You're not going to sit there and you're not going to go around here having babies with all these different women because you think it's cute. You're not going to go around here talking about you need another notch on your belt. You're going to be a respectable young man. And whatever woman you bring, she needs to be a respectable young woman that has sense. Not no woman that got a whole bunch of kids from different men. She don't want nothing in life. She still don't want nothing in life. All she see is going to work. Just do what she need to do to be cute. And that's it. I work for the state. The state that I'm in. And half of us. Well, the majority of the ones that I work with. So I work in the evening. Are in school. Um. Like, I'm going to get my bachelor's. Um, one's getting her master's. Well, two are getting her master's. One's getting ready to go get her doctorate. Another one's getting her bachelor's. And one, I think she she's has her bachelor's. She's getting... I'm going to say she's getting her master's and something else. What? I don't know. Oh, I see a rainbow. This is so pretty. I haven't seen one in a minute. You know, and I am so proud because I, all, everybody in my office is black. And I, it, I am so proud that they understand and that we understand that at some point we need to go back get our education and do what we need to do and it's not always you know and I know a lot of people that go to school and don't get a job in their field and that happens you know I plan on working in the field that I'm in um a, along with doing some other things but I like that they rather work and take care of themselves do what they have to do to be a woman and to be a mother then sit and try to let someone else take care of them and complain about what so and so isn't doing for them I tell people I only have I have a son I only have one child and I'm 29 
if you have multiple children and you got to a point to where, okay, you know what I mean? I understand that I need to go to school, even if you don't get a degree, but to get a certificate and something to master something so that I can work, then I think that's awesome. But for those of us that are still sitting there on the system, we're not doing nothing all day, we're sitting there gossiping, talking, talking trash, you know, want to watch TV and soap operas all day and looking for Mr. Right to come and take care of us and pay all our bills because, you know, he needs to pay for us if he wants us and whatever foolishness and nonsense that we have. And I don't even know where a lot of us got that from. I think it's just crazy. Now, I do have to elaborate that on that at, at, at one point, but not right now. I think as black women, we need to get together. We need to start setting standards. You know what I mean? Some of us that have two, three, four, five kids, and it's just us, and then they got a whole bunch of uncles because we're trying to find that right man to take care of us and our kids. I think it's foolishness, and I think it just needs to stop. You know what I mean? I don't believe in, I believe in, oh, Lord, I had, you know, I'm pregnant, I have a child. You know, I, I get it. And even before I had my son, I still understood that. I understand one. When you get the two, I try to figure out how you get the two when you, you know what I mean? Because two is not a oopsie, I don't understand. You understand, you know what I mean? You might have been ignorant the first time, but two, you understand very well. You know what I mean? Didn't get three and four, and still now we got the government having to take care of all of us. Because we didn't think at one that we should have went back to school to better ourselves and make sure we could take care of ourselves. I just think it's stupid. I just think it's stupid. And I look, you know, when we come from where I well, not we, but where our ancestors come from, and just the quality of a black woman and a black man, the strength that we have. You know what I mean? And to think if we all got together, how much we can conquer, how much we can do as a race, and just as people, period, and in general, we're the most creative people that I have ever seen. You know what I mean? I've never seen a race of people that can go out to do something and we take, we take over everything. Sports-wise, we take over everything. You know what I mean? Things that you, back in the day, black people wasn't really into. But now, you know what I mean? We starting to get into it. Water. You know we did not like water. I'm still not a water person. I mean, I let my son do swim classes. But I'm still not a water person. I can, I can, I won't drown. But I can't promise you that you won't drown. See, I'm not looking to save you. I'm looking to save me. Why? Because one of us needs to tell the story. So I'm not going to drown myself to try to save you. This is not gonna happen now. If it's my baby, then I'll do it. That's my honey, my heart. But and my mother and my brother knew how to swim, so I had to worry about them. But anybody else, I promise you, if it's a fight and um, someone got to tell a story, and I'm pretty sure Reva's gonna be the one to tell a story because Reva's not gonna try to save you and kill herself. She's not gonna do it. Um, yeah. But you see, we have one of the first black women that have won the gold in the Olympics. Like things we just we just weren't doing. First black woman and American woman to do the shock put, whatever that thing is, when they be throwing that thing, the big ball, whatever. Things you wouldn't just think that we would do, but anything that we put our hands together. Serena, Zarina and tennis. Tiger Woods and tennis. We we just we conquer everything that we put our hands to. And I think I get sad because we don't do the same thing a lot of times academically and then if we do we're not we don't try to find like-minded in our own race we go to other races because our race individually we're worried about what the next person is doing we can't let the next person take our idea and succeed instead of just binding together and working together and making a big empire to where we can be like we were back in the day when we were segregated and when we were segregated we owned a lot of businesses our own stuff and it's I, I hate that since we got integrated that it stopped 
and now instead of getting together and making sure we can get back to where we were before but in a, a world where we still live together with other races we're still trying to put everything in the can sit on the can so nobody else can get it however that saying go because I hate sayings because I get them wrong <laughs> but instead of us you know, uniting and, and doing things together. Every other race has been able, I've seen, get together, do businesses together without trying to figure out who's going to do what, who's going to take what from this person. And, you know, she might take my idea or he might take my idea. And, you know, they understand that together we can do more than what we can do separate. You know what I mean? And a person shouldn't have to go to another race to be successful. We should be able to just get together and do it all together without having a big issue. And it really hurts my heart. And I say that even in personal areas to where I've had a lot of business ideas and want to do little things. But none of my friends, that I, people that I say are my friends, have been like, hey, you know what I mean? Let me post something for you, what you want to do. Let's put you out there. Now, I have a white friend. I feel like I love her dearly. And I told her what I'm going to do when I finish school. And she's on it. You know, she's like, you can work with me since I'm in the industry. And we can, you know, work together and we can get you out there. So we all can make money and do great. You know what I mean? She doesn't have any kids. She doesn't hurt for her dogs or her kids. And I have my son. But it's the thing of making sure that we all win at some point now is it all of us no because when i lived in vegas she can't wait to go back god when i lived in vegas that's the first time that i've ever seen and been able whether i've ever seen us get together and not just blacks but we had about spanish one just the spanish one was in there too but just us get together own stuff put things together yeah we're working they're working with you know Caucasians and stuff but they they're putting it together and they stuck together all this time and they're doing great like they're doing great and I love it every time I see them I tell them or you know on social media I let them know how proud I am of them and how I'm just so excited and how I love that they stay together like that you know and it really it just it, it it makes me happy and it gives me hope it really does and i see you know on social media there are other you know races and stuff that are not racist but other you know in other areas where black people where we are doing that and that is so exciting to me i don't understand why this man got aluminum foils on his bike tire spoke things like i don't even know why i don't even know why sorry again another little commercial in there because i see stuff while i'm going to work but i just want i just want us to stand up and think more of ourselves than being what we people see on the outside like we're we're more than that you know what i mean we're more than that you know there are i i i cut my hair off because i'm hot and have my son i've been going through some hormonal stuff and just the heat and stuff so i cut my hair off which I don't mind rocking short hair because I, I don't have an I don't have an issue with that. I think I'm fine regardless of what I have, what I nothing. It's just that's just my self confidence that I have. You know what I mean? But there are times that you know and I'm not saying it's bad to dress look presentable, anything like that. Like I've I've dressed before, I've I've gotten myself together and all of that. But I'm saying what I am saying is that don't don't make that uh, a um, don't make that a top priority. You know what I mean? Don't make that a top priority because it's good to be nice, to look nice, and have nice clothes and shoes and all that stuff. But I rather, to me, it makes more sense to build an empire and to be able to help others to still have nice things than to try to figure out where we get this from today or who's doing what today. Oh, I can't make this much money because then I might not, you know, they're going to take my my money away from me and my governmental assistance away from me. You know, they're going to put me out of the house. Like we're scared of responsibilities. That's where we're scared of responsibility. And I don't understand where that has come from. But I feel.
think we need to start being responsible again for ourselves. Let me say again, I keep saying this, you know, every once in a while, that I'm not saying all black women. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying some. And the some that I'm talking about, that's just who I'm talking about. I'm not saying all. Okay? Just some. Sorry, just some. I don't, I just, I... It's a hard thing that I have for black women. It, it just really is. Do you know what I mean? And I know that I strive for so much in life. And I want to see all of us strive for so much. You know, if you, you do certain things, I'm not saying it's bad. I don't, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't care what you're doing to get to the next place in life. But I'm saying do it and get there. You know what I mean? Don't be doing the same thing forever. It just, it just frustrates me. You know, if you're stripping and you've been a stripper for 20 years, come on, you, you should have done, left that by now and, and got something else going on. You know, you, you've been a prostitute, but you've been a prostitute for 30 years. You should have did something else by, then, by now. Like, something else should have been able to pop in your head to where you're like, all right, I can do better. I'm doing so and so and such and such. You know, I branched off something. You selling drugs, and you've been selling drugs for the past forty years. Why are you selling drugs for the past forty years? You, it's evident that you like to work. It's evident that you can make money. You know what I mean? It's evident that you have enough business mind to do what you're doing. But where does it stop when you go into a do a legitimate business? You know, it's stuff like that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I just want to see us do a lot more. As a race, I want to see us do a lot more as, you know, sexes, male to females. And it just, it just upsets me and it makes me sad sometimes, you know. I do after school and our children, a lot of our kids, are not the brightest crayons in the box. We're not. And it hurts my heart because growing up, me and my brother, we had to do we did homework during the summertime. We did summer work. We had to read. We did book reports. Um, on the weekends, we still did work. Um, and we strived to do the best that we could. You know what I mean? I did not go to school because I was dumb. I just I just played around, you know, going to college. And then I was like, all right. You know, I got my son. I need to settle down now. No time to play because it's not just me. I have to have a life that I'm responsible. So I have to, you know, do certain things. But to see now, like my mother, she made sure that we were on it. To see these kids now, they're not on it. Their parents could care less. All their parents want to do is dress them up, make sure they got, you know, high fashion clothes, make sure they got expensive shoes, you know, Jordans, all that stuff. But the, the inside of their kids, they're rude. They could barely speak English properly. They're not bright at all. And I don't like calling kids dumb, but they're not bright at all. And I don't really get, I get frustrated with the kids, but I get more frustrated and pissed the fuck off with the parents because it starts at home first. Your children's first lesson shouldn't be when they hit the kindergarten door. That should not be. It really shouldn't. A child should be able to, you know, its name, address, colors, alphabets, sight words, before they enter a school door and a lot of them don't a lot of i've heard parents out their mouth say that because their child is dressed up and because they dress their child the, the kids and the, the, the teachers and the, the people that sees them will know that they are loved will know that they are um, what's the word? Well taken care of. But dummy, when your child finishes high school and they can barely read a cereal box, then what are you going to do? How are they going to take care of themselves? Like you're brewing criminals because they're going to have to survive. They're going to have to live. They're going to have to eat. They're going to have to do all of that stuff. All of that stuff they're going to have to do. And if you don't feel like they need to 
learn to read, write numbers and everything at a young age, then I don't even know what to tell you. Like I have, I, I've seen the kids that just, they just, they just can't, they can't read, they can't do anything. And they think it's okay. They think it's cute. They think they have the mindset that my mother is going to take care of me forever. My mom gives me what I want. Why take care of that? All she could do is buy me a new one anyway. Oh, I want some so so I just take it because um, I can. My mom lets me do what I want. And then they come out in the real world and they get fucked up because you put in their mind that they can do whatever they want when they want, how they want, and it's okay. And everybody in our real world is not going to think that that's okay, cute, funny, or anything else. They're going to get messed up. They're just going to get messed up. And I think it's sad that you are already setting up your children to fail. It's really sad that you're setting your kids up to fail. And it just pisses me off. But I am at work and I got to go. So I will talk to you guys later.